Today's biceps. I'm going to be doing standing dumbbell curls. With this exercise, I see a lot of um, common mistakes that guys do in the gym. So I'm going to show you the common mistakes first, then I'll go into the proper form and I'm going, going to show you my tricks and tips of how I maximize the load on my biceps. Just because you want to build bigger biceps doesn't mean you have to use a heavier weight. All you have to do is make sure you choose a reasonable amount of weight that's going to allow you to use your proper form, proper angle, proper tempo, proper mind and body connection so you can be able to control the weight and not swing your body back and forth. This is going to allow you to build the mass that you want and not swinging the weights back and forth. Now I'm going to pick up my dumbbells right here. So these are the few common mistakes that I see. First of all, I see guys just dropping their arms to the side and not rotating, rotating the, the arms forward. And what I see is loading and deloading. They're swinging their body back and forth, what I call sometimes a rocking chair. And this is the chicken wing right here. Elbows flying out and nothing is really happening in the biceps. Now you keep doing this, you are not going to feel anything in your bicep muscle. Okay, my tips and tricks for this exercise is mostly in the wrists and in my lower biceps. When I see most guys, when they're doing curls, they tend to drop their wrist on the bottom, which is actually not safe because over time, that wrist bending behind like that can really hurt your wrist from behind. So what I do is I rotate my wrist upward and I maintain that wrist flex. And when I'm curling up, I keep my body stable and I keep my abs stable so I can be able to only isolate that biceps at the top and come down really slow and make sure I'm pulling my biceps from the lower side and not from the wrist. So the main thing you guys need to remember with proper form is number one is angles. Your elbows need to be right on the side of your body and your wrist needs to turn up. Number two, you also need to control your tempos. When you come up real slow and then you want to come down really slow, right about there, controlling the speed. And number three, mind and body connection. You want to make sure you're thinking about the muscle you're training so you can really focus 100% in that muscle. And number four is the pump. The pump feels like your muscles are tight after you let go of the, bar, the weight. When you set the weight down, you're gonna feel a little tightness. When you try to extend your arms, you're gonna feel like your arms are trying to come back a little bit. You're increasing more blood flow into the muscle, which increases muscle contraction to help you build mass. So you keep the elbows in and you just curl up really slow, three seconds going up, and I come down really slow, four seconds going down. The great tips here is making sure that your elbow don't drop all the way down. Because when your elbow drops down, you are deloading the muscle. You only want to deload the muscle when the set is over. But during the set, you want to keep your elbow slightly bent, curl up really slow, make sure you stop at the top for a few seconds, and then you come back down really slow. So you want to go really slow coming up, you want to count three seconds, and then you want to come down really slow counting four seconds going down and making sure you keep your elbows bent all the way to the side and come up really slow and make sure I stop a little bit at the top to feel the flex and then come down really slow keeping my body very stable so I can isolate the muscle all the way come up really slow turn my wrist up squeeze and come down right about there so the goal here is to make sure you move from your biceps and not from your wrists so right here, this is the proper form to do the bicep exercise.